All right, you guys, I want to show you how to do the memes assignment here in Photoshop. The first thing you need to do, what I would do if I were you, is I would get my photos that I want to use for the meme assignment, and I would take them and put them in their own album in Lightroom. So I'm going to come here into Lightroom and click on this button over here to bring up all my albums. I'm going to create a new album over here and just click on this button right here and click on Create Album. I'm going to call this Memes. And if you have any photos selected like I do, I do want this one to be in my memes album. But if you have photos selected that you don't want in there, just uncheck this box and you don't have to worry about that. But I do want to leave that checked because I do want to add that photo to my memes album. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see here is my album right here. And it's got one photo in here. So I'm just going to go through my photos and pick some other photos that I want to make memes out of. So uh, I might just scroll through here. Probably the easiest thing to do would be come up to the very top, go to all photos. I just happen to have 10,956. Click on one of these two buttons right here. And that will allow you to just kind of scroll through and find photos you want to use for the memes assignment. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll pick up this video from there. So here's another photo I want to use for the memes assignment. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to find that memes album over here on the right hand side. And to get it in there, I'm just going to click and drag and get it in there. And then I'm just going to keep doing that until all of my photos are in the memes album. Okay, so I'm ready to start working on my memes here in Photoshop. The easiest way, I'm going to start with this photo right here. And the easiest way to get this photo into Photoshop is actually just to right click on it. And we're going to go to edit in Photoshop. And that's going to bust open Photoshop and it's going to open up this photo in Photoshop for us. And here we are. Great. All we need to do for this first meme is just add some text to the top and to the bottom. So I'm going to come over here and grab my type tool. And you want to use a big, bold font, you guys, for this. Don't use a little, tiny, hard-to-read font like uh, this one right here. That would be super hard to read. You want to use a big, bold one. So scroll through the fonts. You can see you get a nice little sample of what the font's going to look like over here. And you can see, like, look at that bungee. That's a big, bold font. You might not have that one. One big, bold font that I'll know you have because everybody has it. In fact, all memes used to use this font is impact. So if you're having a hard time finding a big bold font, use impact. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my color to white. So click on my color box up here at the top of the screen right here. Set my color to white by clicking and dragging up into the top left hand corner like that. You'll know you're pure white because all these letters will be like my grades in high school. They'll be all F's. So I'll go ahead and just click on OK there. And I also want this to be centered. So I'm going to click on this button right here. And then I probably want a pretty big size. So let's try like 60. And I'm going to go ahead and click right there in the center and start typing in. And I know I'm going to make this text bigger. So I'm actually going to go to a second line by pressing the return key and keep typing. Great, and I want to stop there because I'm going to put the rest of this meme text down at the bottom of my photo. So I'm going to tell Photoshop I'm done typing by pressing the escape key on my keyboard. Now I definitely want to make this bigger and we learned about this in class the other day. So let's do a little command T and click on that and we're going to just click and drag from the corner here to make this text nice and big. Because I have a lot of room here, I can make this text pretty big. You may not have room. You may need to put this off to the side and make it a little bit smaller like this. You may need to put yours down. You've got to find the best spot that works for you. So I'm going to go ahead and make this nice and big and put it at the top just like this. And then when I'm done, I'm going to try to get this centered. And then when I'm done, I'll just press the return key. Now, this is hard to read because it's white text with a wider background. So I want to fix that by coming over here to my layers panel and coming down here, making sure I have my text layer selected right here. Coming down here and choosing what's called layer styles. That's what these are right here, layer styles. I'm going to click on this little FX button right there. And I'm going to choose stroke. And I want to set my stroke color to black. So I'm going to click on this box right here. Make sure that this is in that bottom left hand corner. Again, this right here will be all zeros. Press OK. And then I want my position right here to not be inside, but I want it to actually be outside. And then I'm just going to bring up the size and watch what happens as I crank this up. See that black border showing up around the edge of my text? You don't want that to be too thick like that. Make it just subtle enough that it helps your text really stand out. So I'm going to go right there and press OK. 
And now I want to finish my meme text by putting some more down here at the bottom. So I'll make sure I'm still on my type tool, make sure all my settings are still good, click right here and finish it off. And you'll notice I'm doing all caps. That's just a personal choice. You don't have to. And there you go. Press escape to tell Photoshop you're done typing. Command T to resize your text. Here's a cool little keyboard shortcut. If I hold down option when I click and drag as I resize, see how that's resizing everything at once? If you don't hold down option, it only moves that one side like that. It doesn't do the other side. But if you hold down option when you click and drag like this, you can get it to uh, expand all four ways. I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And I want to add this same stroke to this. Here's a cool little secret too. If I hold down option again and click on here and drag this up to this other layer and then let go, you can see that same layer style copied from here to here. So let me show you that one more time. Hold down option, click right here on effects and drag it up over the other layer and let go. And that same layer style has now been copied to this photo. And look at that, we're done with our first meme. So let's just go ahead up here and go to file and choose save. And let that finish saving. There's that blue progress bar down there at the bottom. And let's go back to Lightroom and see what happened. Oh, just kidding. Let's go back to Photoshop. You have to close this. I forgot that. So I did file save and now I'm going to close this by coming up here and just clicking on that little X right there. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to close. And now let's go back to Lightroom and look at that. Here is my photo right there. My photo has been memed. See that little two in the top right hand corner. That means this photo is actually in here twice. Let's click on that and see. Look at this. I have the memed photo and then I have the original photo here. There's the meme. There's the original. Very cool. If I want to come back to the view where I can see everything, I'll click on this X right here. Awesome. Let's go to this photo right here. This is where we're going to do our next meme. So let's again, let's right click on this and choose edit in Photoshop. Okay, for this one, what we need to do is put a white box and then put some text inside of it. We have a couple different options. I have room up here to just put a white box over part of the photo that doesn't need to show. So if your photo uh, has that option, what you would do is come over here and grab this rectangular marquee tool, keyboard shortcut is M, and then starting outside of the photo, look at where I have my cursor. I'm not starting here and trying to get it right in the corner. I'm actually gonna start out here. And I'm gonna click and drag and create a white box just like that, or excuse me, just a box. You could also, maybe for your photo, maybe you don't have any room up top, but maybe you have room off to the side. Same thing, you would just click and drag like this and create a box like that. Uh, for me, mine's on the top, so I'm going to put that up here. And then I'm just going to go to Edit and choose Fill and change the contents to white and press OK. Perfect. Now I have a white box for putting some text in. And I want to get rid of the selection. I'm going to do that by just pressing Command D. Okay, but what if your photo looks like this? What if you don't have any room to create a white box? So here's a cool little trick I want to show you. We need to get these colors right here reset to default. So I'm going to press D on my keyboard. And I'm going to make sure that this foreground color is black and the background color is white. If for whatever reason they're not, you can press the X key and that will switch them. So press D on your keyboard and then if you need to, we want this background color right here, this box right here in the back to be white. So if you need to press X to make that happen, do it. Now I'm going to switch to the crop tool. And listen, we haven't learned the crop tool yet in class, but it's really, really simple. What I want you to do is click on this tool right here, the crop tool, keyboard shortcut is C, and then make sure these boxes up here are empty. So make sure this is on, first one is on ratio and that these boxes are empty. If there's anything in here, just click this clear button right there. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to come and grab this top part right here. You're going to click and drag that up and you're going to drag it up as far as you need to, to create some blank space so that you can put some white in there. In fact, you don't, you're not even going to have to put in white because you can see if I leave that there and then come up here and press this check mark, look at what happens. Excellent. That's white because this background color right here was white. If this had been red, then that box would have been red. So either way, we now have a white box on our photo. You could have done this by going off the other way. Maybe you need some space on the side. In that case, you would have just grabbed this and dragged this this way like that. 
Either way is fine with me. You do what works best for you. Let me put that white spot back up on the top. There we go. And you can see my canvas is all out of whack. I'm just going to double click on this hand tool right here to get it back centered and then zoom out just a touch. Okay, let's grab our type tool again. And now we don't need to do a big bold font. Actually, a thinner font makes more sense. So I might choose something that's a little bit thinner and not worried about making it nice and bold. I'm going to turn my caps lock off. I'm going to not center it and I'm going to set, make sure my color is set to black. I'm just going to come and click right here and create my meme text for this one. When the assignment Perfect. I'm just going to leave it like that. I might move it down a little bit and I might come in and select this all and make this just a touch bigger. I could have done this also by doing command T. Here's a little secret, a little tip for you. I'm going to click in this box and I'm just going to press up arrow up the up arrow key on my keyboard and that's just going to slowly make it bigger by one increment. I'm going to switch over to the move tool keyboard shortcut V and move this over just like that. And there you go. We're done with our second meme. Let's go to File, Save. Wait for that little blue progress bar down there at the bottom to disappear. Close it. And let's go back and just check Lightroom. And look at that. Now this meme is in here as well. Okay, now we need to do these last two. The last meme requires you to mix two photos together. So I'm gonna open up both of these in Photoshop. You need to open these one at a time. You could see, I wish you could select both of them like this and then right click and choose edit in Photoshop, but you can see that's grayed out. That's not gonna be an option. So we're gonna just click on one of them, right click, edit in Photoshop, and then click on the other one, right click and choose. Oh, let's go back to Lightroom real quick. Right click and choose edit in Photoshop. So we're gonna have both of these open in Photoshop at the same time. So. Like, take a little note up here of these tabs along the top. This is what happens when you have two photos open at the same time. You got this one and this one, and you can switch back and forth between the two of them by just clicking on the tabs like this. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna put these two photos so that in this case, since my photos are horizontal, I wanna put them on top of each other. If my two photos were vertical, I would put them next to each other. The method is going to be the same either way though. So. Uh, let's do this. I want this to be my top photo and this to be my bottom photo. So here's another little trick that we can use to get ourselves some extra space. Basically, I want some extra space down here below it. Remember, if these photos were vertical, we'd be putting this extra space over here on the side. I'm going to go to image and choose canvas size up here at the top. Image canvas size. And what I want to do is notice that this is 5,184 pixels wide by 3,456 pixels tall. I need to make, I need to double this basically. So I want all of my extra space to go down. So I need this dot right here to move to the top by clicking on this up arrow right there. If I was trying to make this, all my extra space go to the right over to here, I would click this arrow so that the dots over there, which means all my extra space would go over there but I want all of mine to go down. So I'm gonna click up there and I'm just going to double the height. So if you need to pull out your calculator, go ahead and do that. 3,456 times two is obviously 6,912. So for me, I'm just gonna type in 6912 and go ahead and press okay. And look at what that did. That created that extra white space for me that's basically double this. Awesome. Now all I need to do is get this photo down at the bottom of that thing down there. So that's pretty simple. Actually, what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm gonna press Command A to select the entire photo. You can see that dotted line showed up around the whole photo. I'm gonna come up here and go to Edit and choose Copy. Then I'm gonna come over to this photo over here. I'm gonna go to Edit and choose Paste. That's gonna drop that photo in there. I'm gonna switch over to my Move tool right here. Keyboard shortcut is V. I'm going to move this photo down to the bottom just like that. Awesome. So now I have my two photos on top of each other. Again, if you were doing this side by side, you would have done the same thing. Image, canvas size. You would have gone this way, except for you would have doubled this number 
not the bottom number. You would have doubled the width. Okay. Now I need a little white space over here to put my text into. So I could do this a couple different ways. I could go to image canvas size again, or I could just pull up my crop tool again and click and drag this over like this to give me some white space to type in and go ahead and press enter or return on my keyboard. Now all I got to do is add some text. When you don't have a lot of space to add text like I don't, what I like to do is actually grab my type tool. Instead of just clicking, what I'm going to actually do is click and drag a box. So I'm going to select, make that box just like that, and let's start throwing my text in. Me. So that's it. That's all the text I need right there. So again, I can come up here, press this check mark to tell Photoshop I'm done typing, switch to my move tool, and I can tell, move this photo, move this text around just like this. And that's, I'll probably just put that right there. And then I'm going to switch back to my type tool and come down here and add some text down here. And again, I'll just click and drag a box. And there you go. Press escape to tell Photoshop I'm done typing. Switch to my move tool to move this text around if I need to. I actually kind of like the spot that is in. And there you go. I am done with this meme as well. Looks pretty great. Let's come up here and do a little file save. Wait for this blue progress bar to finish. All right, so we can close these photos now. In fact, we can close Photoshop entirely because we're done. Remember, if you just want to close the photo, you just click on this X right there. If you want to close Photoshop completely, you come and click up on that big red X right there. So let's go back to Lightroom and see I've got my three memes right here that I can turn in. I'm going to go ahead. You'll notice this photo didn't turn into a meme because I didn't make anything out of this one. I actually made those in the meme into this one right here. What I want to do is go ahead and just turn in this entire album, but I want to make sure my memes are first. So I'm going to click on this one and drag it to the end so that nobody has to see that one. And now I'm just going to turn this in by sharing the entire album, which you guys know how to do. Right click, share and invite and go through that whole process and you are good to go.